we're going to do the collaboration for home style cooking for two family homestead. Is that what it's called? Home style dinner. Home style dinner. Same difference. <laughs> well, we decided we're going to do meatloaf. So what we've got here is, I'd say roughly about two and a half to three pounds of ground beef. Usually I mix like the Italian sweet sauce, the sweet Italian sausage links. We like those mixed with it, but couldn't find any this time. So we use what we have. To this, I usually add two eggs. Autumn, you want to add the two eggs? Sure. Try not to get it on my clean thing. Yeah, these are farm eggs, so they're going to be a little bit tougher. I'm going to have to whack it hard. Can you get it? There that you go. Crack it on top of uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. Um, lose some shell. That's all right. Did you get it? Yeah, I think. Just lay it right here for me. Just lay it right here. You know that one? Doesn't matter where it goes. Just put it in there. Oh, that's a beautiful yellow yolk in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mix some of this hamburger meat in there. And it doesn't that matter if you egg. use a spoon or spatula. We use our hands. Mm-hmm. We don't care if to get our hands dirty. We washed them, so yeah. we'll look at that pretty yolk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, we're going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Autumn, if you want to do that for me while I play. And just add what you like. We never put a specific amount. Just whatever you like. Autumn, you want to go ahead and add the garlic powder and... Seasoned are you wanting seasoned salt added this time? Mm, yeah. You can add a little bit of seasoned salt if you want to. Add what you want. Just mash it up there. We're just sprinkle it all over the top. Again, just not too salty. And then again, this is optional. You don't have to put... You don't have to put what you don't like in there. We're not picky. We want a lot of garlic powder. We love garlic powder. Mm -hmm. We put garlic in everything. Good. Just get that mixed in. And next, we're going to add some ketchup. And it doesn't matter what brand ketchup it is. Squeeze. I'd say quite a bit. Maybe about at least a half a cup's worth. You don't know what a half a cup is, do you? No. A little bit more. Cover it. I'll tell you when. That'll keep it good and moist and give it a little flavor. Okay, that'll be good. Then we'll save some for the top. We'll get that good and incorporated. In the meantime, Autumn, will you um, open up the breadcrumbs? We had breadcrumbs and crackers. Pretty much okay. all you really need for this part is either breadcrumbs or mashed up crackers. We like both. Mm -hmm. Just and we happen to have both still at home in the pantry, so that's what we what we used. Okay, sprinkle about a fourth of that bottle in there. It doesn't take a whole lot. Okay, that should be good right there. Mm -hmm. Now. Don't I just crush up the whole yeah, thing? Yeah, just go ahead and crush up the whole cracker. Take them out a few at a time and give them to me. Can you get it? Usually with the crackers, we don't crush them up real fine. We label them in chunks because it tends to... You can do it, Jenny. We leave it in chunks about like that. They couldn't see that. It, it I didn't zoom in. You couldn't see my hand? Here. Now, 
just like that. Yeah, we leave it in pretty good sized chunks because it tends to soak up some of the moisture. That way you don't have a mushy meatloaf, but it's still really moist. Because mm -hmm. nobody likes You don't want really, it dry. You don't want it dry. You don't want it too moist. You want it almost perfect. And we may not need this whole pack on them. We'll just have to look and see when I mix some up. Just get some of them crushed up. Hmm. Okay. We'll get this mixed up. And then we will add the onion. Normally, I would add regular fresh onion to it. Chopped up real fine. But I've got a lot of French's onions. We found some on sale. Now we're going to add some of the onions. Autumn, will you grab the onions since my hands are all yucky? And depending on how many onions you like, you may not like onions in yours at all. Just crumble them up to where they're not great big huge chunks. But that'll also soak in some of the moisture to where it's holding in the moisture in the meatloaf and it's not all pulled up, hopefully. Again, it, this doesn't have to be all perfect. No. Nope. ground up. Just crush it like that. That should be just We need a whole bit. bunch more. And we try not to waste anything. And to go with the meatloaf, we always, always, always do mashed potatoes. I've got Logan over there peeling potatoes for me now. And with the potatoes, we just boil the potatoes and put a little bit of butter, milk, salt, and pepper, and that's our potatoes. Sometimes I use canned milk instead of regular milk, but he's cutting away over there for me. Baby's just waiting inside the table waiting for something to fall. <laughs> yeah, baby's over here at my feet. Okay. That looks like that might be enough. Let's get to mixing and see There's what... There's still it... a little bit more in there. Okay, well, we might can add that. I just want to look and see how this looks. We're you might want to move the bags, Sissy. Can you see what's in the bowl? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and now... I just make it into a rounded patty I guess you could say a really big huge patty okay and I'm gonna attempt to get it over here into my Dutch oven without dropping it I've got parchment paper in here just because it's so much easier not to have to clean chunks of meat stuck to it. I mean, we'll still have to clean it, but it'll mainly be the grease and fat that's come out of it. Let's see. Got it. Beautiful. Bit of scraped off the bottom there. There's the inside. <laughs> and it fit in there perfect. And then, normally, if I was cooking it in my oven at home, I would go ahead and put the ketchup on top now, but since we're going to be doing it in a Dutch oven, hanging it over the fire pit with a tripod, I'm going to cook it first and then at the last I'll put the ketchup on top and we'll brown the ketchup on top of it. Okay, it's time to go put it on the fire. Oh god, it's heavy. around the one fire pit to get to the cooking fire pit. Love this tripod. Okay. Hunter, you gonna put some coals on top now? These coals right here are ready. And no, we don't measure it. We don't know how many charcoal briquettes are supposed to be on top. We just put it on there. Every so often we'll go look at it and see how it looks. Autumn, step back, love. I want more coal to brought out on you. Just enough to cook it all the way through. I'm trying to flame back up, ain't it? Scoot that big one over before it falls off. 
about how long we wait before we check it i say we're going to probably wait about 20 minutes and check it and see how it looks see if we need to add more coals on top more than likely we probably will and we'll wait another 20 minutes give or take check it again probably put the ketchup on it then and then we'll probably cook it for another 10 minutes with the ketchup on there and then i'd say it's probably gonna be ready to be done so probably about an hour a little over an hour cooking time that should be Looks good good hunter now the hard part we wait we're gonna go ahead and check it see if it's ready for ketchup we checked it while ago and forgot to get the camera so hunter's gonna open it up autumn look down there oh yeah that stuff browned up beautiful hunter set it in okay. scoot it over i think we're gonna go ahead and add the ketchup and Toast it real good. And On the rock. I set it here. That's good. I should have brought a spoon over here. I got one. It's okay, son. We don't have to have one. Okay. My mama. A lot of juice is pulled up around the outside. <coughs> Bottom. Pay attention to what you do. But it's going to be really, really juicy, hopefully. We always like to add a little black pepper to the top of it. So we're going to sprinkle some black pepper on the top. Nothing goes wrong with black pepper. Okay. Hunter, put the, the lid back on. Not to get ashes in our meatloaf. Okay, we've got it off. Let's look at it and see how it looks. Hopefully it's to our liking. Not enough. We normally like for the ketchup to brown, but it'll be all right. There. I just, apparently my pot holder melted on me. Cut us a piece. This is a big meatloaf. Look at a buckle. Man, I wish they could smell it. Smells amazing, doesn't it? Oh, you can really smell the ketchup too. Mm. And yes, we forgot to show you how to do the mashed potatoes, but super easy okay there's y'all's piece there's mine yeah yeah i don't think so hunter nice try it's all mine autumn said she got first place she helped cook it thanks for watching guys